ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be doing a fashion video because I'm a fashionista. I'm qualified. What is up everyone? Today, I'll probably introduce myself. My name is Marla and this is my channel. Thanks for clicking on my video. If you guys are new here, hello, what's up? And if you aren't new here, also hello, what's up? Um, today's video is going to be how to shop like a pro, for, coming from the pro herself. When I literally refer to myself as third person, I also call myself a pro when it's not even true. I wanted to give you guys some of my tips that help me to like shop effectively when I'm out at the mall or I'm at a thrift store or I'm online shopping. And I just wanted to like clump all of my tips onto one massive video. It's like the big bang, except it's shopping and YouTube. We're gonna talk all things shopping, how to be better at thrift shopping, like mall shopping and online shopping, and just some of the tips that help me to like effectively find cute clothes that I like and will love to wear. So um, I just got this video idea because I don't know, I think it's just like when I go to the mall and I feel like I don't even know where to get started or I just don't know what to do or I don't know where to find all the cute clothes everyone seems to wear on Instagram. Hopefully this video can help you out and you really enjoy it a lot. Tip number one is getting inspired from mannequins. In stores, mannequins literally freak me out. If you've seen the Twilight episode, scariest thing ever, can't look at them the same, but they do have good outfits most of the time. Whatever store you're in, most likely they'll have mannequins and those mannequins are normally displaying like the trendy clothes that that store is selling. And sometimes mannequins actually have good outfits that you can either take inspiration from for your own personal wardrobe or if you wanna find the clothes that they're wearing. If I see a mannequin that's wearing something that's kind of cute, I'll take a picture of it and then I'll try to find those items in the store. It's like a little scavenger hunt for yourself and it's really fun. That was the dumbest thing I've said. I actually filmed in Target because it was not that busy there, but this literally works anywhere and I've done this multiple times where I see like a mannequin wearing a cute t-shirt that I just like and so that helps me to just easily navigate the store and seeing what I like and I don't like. So I'm trying to make this quick. I don't want this video to be like super long and boring and me being redundant. Tip number dos. Number two. That's four. Two. Is to check leftover clothes in other dressing rooms. This tip is specifically for thrift shopping. I can't Kid you not, the last few times I've been thrift shopping, I've been doing this and I have so much success. I don't know if it's just like, I've been lucky those few times. So when you go to the thrift store, I would highly recommend grabbing your cart and then going to the dressing rooms and checking for leftover clothes that the employees haven't picked up yet. Because most of the time, I feel like lately thrift stores have become so much more popular. So there's like a lot more teenagers going, kind of looking for that similar like aesthetic trendy clothing from thrift stores. And so what the hope is, is that when you go into these dressing rooms, you'll find the clothes that that didn't work for those people that might work for you so it's like people literally already shopped for you and they found all the cute stuff and then you now take that stuff and try on what didn't work for them i went into one of the dressing rooms and i found a pair of levi's like they it looked like whoever was in there before me had left like five pairs of levi's i tried on all of them and one of them fit me perfectly and now they're like one of my favorite pairs of jeans and it took me like two seconds to find them because someone had already done the shopping for me it's hit or miss because sometimes the employees are super quick to clear out the dressing rooms but if not skedaddle on over there and grab yourself a little bit of clothing. Okay, so tip number three is checking the unwanted clothing sections. This kind of goes along with tip two, but it's more like a backup one or just like a double, a double whammy. It's to go up, oh, that feels so good. Holy cannoli, guacamole, a yoga with me. I worked out in PE, like actually worked out and now I'm sore and I'm like, whoa. Like I didn't know I could be sore from a physical education class. Inside of thrift stores or even just regular stores, they normally have like a clothing rack where employees take the leftover clothes from dressing rooms that weren't like used and they put them all onto a clothing rack. That way they can like go back and put back the clothes to wherever they belong. But what I recommend is to going up into that clothing rack and searching through the clothes. Cause just once again, it's like people already shop for you and you might find something that someone else liked that just didn't work for them. This, once again, is a great tip for thrift stores. It's really similar to the other tip, but it's also a good place to check when you're trying to find clothes. Tip number four is to try everything on. This tip's more targeted towards thrift stores because thrift stores are really like iffy when it comes to clothes, it's like hit or miss. It's just that, or even in store, honestly, stuff looks so different on hangers and it's just, you never know how things are gonna fit on you. So I'd recommend if you're even like halfway iffy about something, just grab it and try it on. There's no hurt in doing that. If you have the time, those jeans might just hug your little tushy in the right places and you will look spanking good. Get it spanking, I'm so punny. I, even when we were at Target and we were filming this video, I found a pair of jeans that I, I'm like, these probably won't fit. And I tried them on and they did fit and 
and I was really happy. I ended up not getting them though. So maybe that was a really lame story time. Sorry about that. What I'm trying to say is like you, the hangers just don't do clothing justice. You never know until you try. So it really is an important thing to remember. Like even if you're like 25, no, even if you're like 17% sure about it, just grab it, just grab it. That's my reenactment of how it would be if you tried on. Do you want to see my reenactment again? Next tip is using online filters. So this one's an online shopping tip, but most online stores have a section where you can like filter the website. So you can filter it by size, you can filter it by color or like whatever. So like if you're specifically looking for, like you wanna find some, like a brown coat, you just filter brown jackets and then you put in your size and it'll pull up everything on that website, that's a brown jacket. So it just makes your shopping so much quicker. You, when I online shop, I feel like I get so distracted very easily and I'll be like, ooh, like, that's cool, that looks really nice. And then I'll like end up on YouTube watching like cat compilation memes. That's embarrassing. Oh, another thing with using the filters is, I think this is like the nicest one, is doing the lowest to price. Doing the lowest to highest pricing. This is awesome if you're on a budget or just, it's a great way to find good deals. So if you're like specifically finding that brown jacket, then hit the button that says lowest to highest price and then I'll like pull up all the least expensive ones. And that way you're not even like tempted. Sometimes you can customize like your highest, your max price that you wanna spend. Basically it doesn't even tempt you with those cute jackets that are over your price range. And so it's like, this is a $50 jacket and that's my cap. That's what I'm gonna buy. So does that even make sense? Does, it, does that make sense? Does that make sense? Is that, do you comprehend? I'm not very good at taking my thoughts and putting them out into words sometimes. So actually I'm not that bad at writing. I'm better, maybe I should start a blog. My next tip is having purpose when you're buying clothes. So this is something I personally struggle with is that I will just be out and about shopping with my family maybe and I'll find something that's really cute and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna buy it. And then I end up buying it. And then I go home and I realize that like, I don't have anything to style that piece of clothing with. So therefore it was kind of like a useless purchase because I'm like, I have no clue how to style this. I've done this so many times at the thrift store, especially like I bought this like vest it was so ugly and I ended up just donating it back to like the thrift store because I didn't ever wear it because I didn't know how to style it and I there was no purpose for me to buy that. So when you're in the store and you're holding up a piece of clothing that you like, I think you should ask yourself three questions. First off, am I gonna wear this multiple times? Like for example, Urban Outfitters, like you'll hold up a kind of ugly shirt, but since you're in Urban Outfitters and like you're in that surroundings, like you're in that environment, you like think it's cuter. Second question is, do I already own something at home that I can style with this piece of clothing? And then the third question I think you should ask is is it necessary like do i really need the 90th white t-shirt that i already own i guess it's just a good way to not be like wasteful it's like i bought a trench coat and i kind of when i came home i was like oh shoot like i don't know even i don't even know how to like style this my name is mala i have a dollar so i'm gonna buy some clothes your mom's a <laughs> just kidding. that's why you wanted to rap no, I was just literally coming up with that. I'm that good. The next tip I have is getting inspired before you shop. This is great for thrift shopping, online shopping, and mall. Like this applies to everything. I love to go into Tumblr and Pinterest, I think are the best for me to find inspiration for outfits. So I'll just do this throughout time. Like if I go onto the app, if I go onto the Tumblr app and I see an outfit that I think is cute, I'll screenshot it and then I put it into a folder on my phone that will be called like outfits or something. Or if I'm on Pinterest, I'll make like an outfits board. Or if I'm on Instagram, I save it and make like an outfits board. So then when I'm shopping, I can go and pull up all those pictures that I've like found that I think are cute. And then it will give me inspiration to look for stuff when I'm at the mall. I do this, I feel like mostly with shoes. Like I own a pair of um, the classic Nike Cortez and it's cause the reason why I bought those is cause I saw them on Tumblr and I thought they were super cute. So I like found them when I was online shopping and that's why I bought them. This is a good way to have like also purpose when you're shopping. It's like, okay, I'm looking for this specifically and I want to find it. And it also makes shopping way more fun when you kind of have an idea of what you're looking for. And then that way you're not like wasting time just like wandering around the mall being like, <laughs> you know? I don't know I don't know, I'm lost. I'm a lost little duckling. Would you pick me up off your own porch? I'm a, I'm a lost kitty, what would you do? The next <laughs> point of view. Point of view, you're a human I'm and I'm cute, a lost- I'm cute, I'm stinky, but mostly cute. <laughs> Point of view, you're a human and I'm a lost kitty begging for some food. I literally love it when people do like the point of view post. Poist. The word milk is so funny. Milk. Okay, um, getting. Okay, and then this is the last but certainly not least. And it's very basic, but it's using coupon codes. We all just became a soccer mom. It's so smart though. This is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form, but like one of the websites that I actually use is called Honey. And it's like basically this website where you download it. I'm not even sure. I think you just download it into your computer. So then when you're shopping online, it will like automatically apply any coupon codes that that website has when you're like checking out. When I say the word like, 
80 times in a row but it's actually not i'm not even kidding this is not sponsored it's a on it's a great website it's called honey so at the checkout it will say like do you want to apply coupons and then i'll hit that and then i'll run any coupons that that website possibly has and then i'll apply them and then you save 20 bucks and you're like I literally did nothing, I just clicked a button. There's that, and then there's also just, like on, I know like some websites, they won't apply the discounts at checkout, like you have to manually type them in, and sometimes they'll be like, apply code FALL for 20% off. And it's like, make sure that you're staying aware on the website and trying to find those deals. <laughs> and then this is actually the last tip. I had a friend tell me this, and I remember just being like, you are so right. You are kind of right. Name that movie. It was Spider-Man. And this black eyeliner, he's all greasy, he's like... <laughs> and no, none of the girls are looking at him, they're he's like... like <laughs> no, my... Basically this tip is... I for, She had worded it really well, but it's... You can't... Don't go broke over a good deal. And basically what that's saying is like... Sometimes online will be like... Spend $100 and you'll get free shipping. And you literally have like $30 worth of stuff in your cart. And you're like, well, if I spend $70 more... I will get free shipping when like shipping's probably what eight bucks and so it's like wait where's the where did i go wrong in the calculations but this is something that i just catch myself doing or it'll be like buy two get one free when you really you're like i only want one t-shirt but then my mind is like but if i buy another one for 40 other dollars i get another one for free when i literally did not need that so it's like even though it might be a good deal if you don't need it and you don't want it and it's not necessary don't do it don't spend an extra seventy dollars when you really just have to pay eight dollars for shipping. You get what I mean? Is that a good tip? Anyway, that it was my friend Izzy. Izzy, if you're watching this, love you, girl. But she told me that tip. I think we were at like a vintage store or something, and I was like holding this. I'm like, but if I buy two, then I get one free. And she was like, don't go broke over a good deal. But I just want to say, yeah, that's. I think that's it. That was like what eight tips? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I lost. I stopped counting after like two because I just got too high of a number for me. <gasps> I have concluded my video. That is it. In summary, I hope this helped. I hope you guys become like pro shoppers and you're just so good at finding cute clothes and you guys feel great about yourselves. Anyway, I hope these tips actually help you guys. If they did, awesome sauce. Please give it a thumbs up if you guys like this video and subscribe if you want to. I'll see you guys in my next one. Follow me on Instagram. I bought a new camera and it's a film camera. It's really cute and I'm gonna be taking new pictures. Woo -woo! So go follow me right now. Just follow me if you want to. At Marla Catherine. And I will see you guys later. Peace and kisses. Bye, chicken nuggets. Y'all look like Shrek. Bye. <laughs> wow. They're having a bad day. I'm like, I love you. You look like Shrek. I know I actually look like Shrek. It's a problem. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Actually, everyone, all my friends think I look like a kangaroo. And I kind of see it. A kangaroo? A kangaroo. What do you know who Hunter looks like? Who? The guy from Ratatouille. <gasps> That's his you name. You should be the rat and he'll be the... <gasps> I'm the rat. Point of view on the rat. Can I get on your head? <laughs> Point of view. Can I crunch your hair? <laughs> Can I control you with your hair? Can I cook? Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye guys. When you drink, when you think don't jump is really funny.